Kumari Mandal. Uh, I'm from Nepal, particularly south part of Nepal, Dhanusa. And uh, I grew up in small village where the situation of girls is uh, like getting married at a child, child age. And I never thought that I would be able to go to university before I came here. I, like my father, my mother wanted me to get married at the, at the small age. RCN is, uh, first of all, I would say cold and warm. Cold in a sense of yes, weather, but at the same time where you you feel sometimes your heart is cold, you feel oh, I am not good enough to be here, but at the same time warm because of the like people here with the warm heart like always encourage me to do something, always like push me up and like yes I can do and now I really feel like um, it's, a, it's a place where I open up, I learn to learn and I, I be, I started to being myself and like letting like okay so I don't care what's wh whoever whatever people say but like I would be myself I would do whatever I want to do and this is my time to sign it has completely changed my life I would say like as I said um, I come from the village where the society is um, like pressure and then society is thinking about girls are like oh so you should be only limited to your house or like limited to the uh, the village you should never go somewhere and I was the first uh, girls from my village going abroad to studying like further I can be like a bird fly I have my one freedom to pursue whatever I want in my life and it's it's not only my life, it's like connected to the hundred girls who is like there. They also see me as a like, you know, the role model and be like, oh, so look at her, she never dream, but she keep working and now she's there. And it's, I can't imagine without getting this scholarship being here or like any kind of on a, like foreign country. Cause no, like, first of all, my parents cannot afford it and another like, my society will not like accept that parents paying girls child for like their father's education in abroad. So it's like it has completely made me like independent, free and be like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm like in the future I always see like whatever I have got, it has a huge impact on myself and I should pay it forward. So that's why I like I would uh, the one of the like dream I have is to go back to my village and like a, a awareness program or like workshop or whatever I can do like to make a, another girl's child to like feel that they have enough and they can get opportunity to do and like it's not only the girls because they are the victim but um, the, it's the whole society so and I have like these uh, projects at the same time I always wanted to be a teacher at least for some period of time because I feel like the teacher has played one of the most important roles in my life and because of them I am here without their support I would not be like passing my school there and going to another like getting another scholarship so it's like one teacher can change like one of the lives so like imagine being a teacher and if i can make at least little bit different that would be like me paying it forward so that's well, that's what i want to do till now like it doesn't matter what i'm gonna do in the future but that's two things i will surely do thank you so much